all right, this will take forever to go through, but we have to understand mud fossils with field identification guides. It's obvious that the earth and even the mud and rocks and the very ground we walk on it was once alive. Now what's going to be covered in this document? This is what you will see and all is well supported. I talk about the flesh being preserved in wet, salty, fine mud. Why am I qualified to write the book on mud fossils? Well, why me? The heart of the matter. Why am I writing this guide? I'm concerned that my research will be distorted and misunderstood, and it has been. What's the future and what will be the outcome for mud fossil reality? This really is a complete rewrite of geology and history. Everything's completely changed. If you accept what I'm saying, and you have to if you have a mind in your head, mud fossilization process, here's what happens, here's how it all happens. Electric activity in wet soils is called telluric currents. What is the chemistry in creatures? What does the chemistry mean? Why are we having all these different variations? What is the materials available in creatures? What, what do you have in us? Well, we know we got iron. We're saturated with iron. I mentioned before there are bodily processes need to be explored and they are ignored. And they're told to shut up, don't talk about that stuff because it's rocks. It has nothing to do with bodies. Well, it does. Why so many chemical variations of the same body part? The same body part can turn into all kinds of different things depending upon the condition that it was in entombed in. It depends on what saturates into it. Mud fossil identification factors and examples. What was it like on Earth just before the Great Flood? I mean, there was a flood. Everything I have is flat as a pancake on one side, 100%. What was the Great Flood story and what was a possible event like itself? What actually did happen? What was it like on Earth just after the Flood? What does the ancient text say about what we see? Let's do some research. There's a technique. There's a technique to doing this research. What do I claim about matter? Why do I claim these things? I'm going to show you. I'll tell you exactly what I'm saying and what I claim and why I claim it. What materials are in mud fossils? What is matter in general? What the hell matter is made out of? Where did it come from? What are the major categories for mud fossils? Anatomy and biology, chemistry tell the tale. They, they don't understand any of this. One of them may understand anatomy, another one understands biology, another one understands chemistry, another one understands something else. And nobody puts it together. Mud fossil identification field guide with videos and pictorials. Mud fossilization by the numbers. And here's those, all the numbers. Mud fossil anatomy requires you to understand basic body structures. You have to understand everything in the body, how it works, how it fuses together, how fascia holds everything together, how the blood supply works, how the returns work, how do all the tissues coordinate with each other, and the, I mean, there's so much to it. What chemistry happens in your body during your life? What's the, what's the chemistry going on? Conditions in mud fossils are perversion varies and must be understood. It's all about the conditions of entombment. Let's just discuss the origin of mud fossils, KT boundary, and what geologists wrongly say, because they are wrong, totally wrong, and they couldn't care less. The anatomy and chemistry of each body part. Let's talk about that. Let's look at the effect caused by conditions that led to mud fossil preservation. Well, what are the conditions? And then that's it. All right, I'm just going to leave it at this. Mark Armitage was fired for finding soft tissue in dinosaur fossils. They fired him. All it was, he presented it just straight out. And he said, they can't be as old as you people are saying because it's still soft tissue. It's, it's pristine. And they fired him. Well, he sued, and he got a six-figure settlement. I don't know what it was, but it was, um, the, 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 the tragedy here is they won't allow us to speak of valid scientific information. That is tragic. And I mean tragic in many, many ways. You know, if you can fall into a coma while you're in class, you're going to have to. 
because what they're telling you is just absolute nonsense about our history, about geology, about space, about everything. And when you talk about religion, you know, they talk about religion. Well, I say spiritualism. You see, you know, there's something more than this. I'm going to tell you that right now. No question whatsoever. These body parts are in space. These body parts are all over this earth. They knew about this thousands of years ago. And we just think it's silly. Well, the Age of Enlightenment turned the lights right out. 